In this tutorial, we're going to do a quick overview of how Articulate Review works, which is part of your Articulate 360 subscription. So basically, you're going to publish a course, you'll publish it up to Articulate 360, and then you can use Articulate Review to share the course or to collect feedback um, from your subject matter experts or your customers. So let's go ahead and click on the Articulate Review button. This is going to open up Articulate Review. In this case, I only have one published course. You can see I've got my course here. It's telling me what product it was published in, the date, the title. If I click on this, you can see I've got some pretty simple options. What we're going to do is we're going to create a course in Storyline, and then we're going to publish it up to Articulate 360, and then we're going to use Review to share it and collect some feedback. So let's go to Storyline. I'm inside a storyline. You can see here's my course. We'll say we're happy with this. I'm going to go to Publish. And you'll see I have an Articulate 360 tab. Now I have an option. I can publish this as a new item. Or if I had this already published and I want to do another version of it, I can publish a new version over an existing item. And by default, it's pulling in the course title. We're just going to retitle this and we'll call this HR Training. And we'll hit Publish. What's going to happen is Storyline is going to publish the course and then it's going to upload it. I can click on this link and that takes me to Articulate 360 and I can look at the course in review. Or I can go to the website, which I already have open, and you can see here's my published course. And when I click on it, this is a published version of the course. And we can see up here we have the title, the current version. Over here we've got a review. So as people go through this, they can add comments. I can see all my feedback in one batch, or I can share the course here. And if we look at this here, you can see if I'm working with comments, I can mark them as read, or I can hide the resolved comments so I only have to look at the comments that are still active. And then the other thing here is I can disable comments. So I might want to just share the course but not collect comments from people. So we're going to go ahead and share this course and solicit some feedback. So what I want to do is come up to Share. You can see I have a link here, and then I can set a password. So we're going to do both. So we're going to, we're going to copy this link. So I select it. I'm going to hit Control C. So I've copied it to my clipboard. I'm going to set a password, and I'm just going to say the password is password, which is probably the unsafest password. And we're going to hit OK. And now I've got this link, and I'm going to send that link to somebody. And so that person's going to log in and they're going to be able to add some feedback. So let me go ahead and log in as another person. All right, so I've got my email. I'm logging in as another person. It's telling me I need to add a password. So I'm going to add the password I created. Hit OK. And now I can look at the course. Now if I want to add comments, I have to sign in. And that makes sense because I wouldn't know who's actually commenting. So the commenter can sign in. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to sign in. All right, I'm going to sign in. So now I'm signed in and I'm going to review the course and add some comments. So let's go here and say, so I'm going to hit enter and that's going to add the comment here. Let me go to another slide. I'll add a couple more. So, um, Change colors. All right, so I add a comment. Go to this one here. Get rid of characters. All right, so those are my comments. Now, what I want to do is look at it from the author's perspective. As Laura's been adding comments, Curtis, who's the author, has been getting emails saying that somebody's commented. I'm inside of Curtis's view of the course. And I can see these comments here. And you can see that I have some comments. So we're going to click on Feedback. And you can see that I have a list of all the different comments. And I can add responses from here. So I can say, I'm going to add the comments here. And I'll do this here to let them know that I can't change that. And we'll say, OK. So I've added my comments here. Let's go to Laura. Now Laura's actually ended up getting some emails alerting her. But as she can see when she's inside the course, she can see my comments as well. So she can click in here and see the comments because she signed in as Laura. And she could say, those cool characters you used before. 
And obviously she's talking about those really cool illustrated characters that come with Articulate 360. We'll say OK. She's fine with that and nothing needed here. So you're kind of going back and forth with the comments and you can see how that works. So if we come back here, now Curtis can see her comments as well. Now I'm going to look at this. This one's resolved. So let's go ahead and mark this resolved, right? So now you can see it's kind of grayed out and I can see it's marked resolved. And then this one right here, um, she's happy with that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and resolve that. And this one we're going to go ahead and change the character. So let's do that in Storyline. So I'm going to come back to Storyline. She wanted to illustrate characters. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to click on the characters here. What's nice with Storyline in these templates is I can select my character. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to choose a photorealistic character. And let's go ahead and choose uh, Sylvie. We're going to insert her. And what we're going to do is we're going to crop her as well. So let's, let's crop her and make her a little larger. So this is nice. We like these Illustrate characters to look really polished. We'll come over here. Let's go ahead and get rid of the characters that she didn't want. And we're going to keep the color scheming. Everything's fine. Let's go ahead and hit Publish. We're going to choose Articulate 360. Now in this case, we're going to overwrite or create a new version. So we just can publish a new version of this existing one. Hit Publish. And we can view the project or I can come back to the website. So when I view the project, I'm going to go to my window here. And we're going to come into the window. We're going to go to Review. And I can see my updated version of the course. And you can see I can toggle between the current version and the new version. And in this case, I can say, what do you think? And send that to her. And then she's going to see a current version of the course and she can say, Looks good. And at that point, we're done. So you can see how that works. You create your course, you publish it up to Articulate 360, you can share the course, you collect some feedback, make changes, and you can keep track of all your feedback. Now it's just a matter of you going in there, building that first course, and sharing it and seeing how everything works. And don't forget, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to jump into the community and ask. We're always there to help you out. And then go ahead and watch all those other tutorials to learn more about everything you get with your Articulate 360 subscription.